There has been a continual battle between the kingdom of God and the kingdom of darkness, and between the children of God and Satan and his demons in the world where we live since Jesus defeated all evil on the cross in resurrection. A man went home from the praying meeting. This is a man named Gabe. He Brunei means God's bravest man. He is a disciple of Christ and a prayer warrior of God. Gabe. 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 The king calls you. Gabe. Greetings, Gabe. How was your sleep? Jesus. Sorry for interrupting your beauty sleep. Oh no. Don't worry. I was glad you called me, sir. I'm so pleased to see you, my king. So am I. I called you to join my army to fight against the powerful enemy under the accuser in the spiritual realms. You called me to battle in the spiritual realms. That's why I called you. I have a special mission for you. Oh yes. You are. My brothers on earth called me that. That's why I called you. I have a special mission for you. Really? Please pay attention to me carefully. A few days ago one of my army divisions marched and battles with the enemy forces without my permission. They suffered a humiliating defeat. They suffered high casualties and are now prisoners of the enemy army. That's so sad. What was the name of division? Weakness Division. Weakness Division. They made the mistake of marching and fighting without my permission as though I allowed them to do whatever they wish. Oh no. 
I want you to go to the holy mountain where the prison camp is for my children. Your mission is to rescue my children from the prison camp and return them to me. I anoint you to be a leader of my faithful warriors. Sir, I know there are some warriors who are stronger and wiser than me. Is your name Gabe? Yes. Do you know its meaning? Yes. It's God's bravest man. That's why I anoint you to lead my warriors. <laughs> You're so good. My spirit will be with you everywhere you go. He is your advisor and guider. Good, that's what I need. My warriors are outside my tent now. They're waiting for you. Go now and bring my lost to me. I'm always with you. Yes, my dear king. Gabe went out of a king's tent and met the group of the warriors of Christ. They were a small group, but they were all well-equipped, strong and confident men. Is it you, Gabe? Yes, me. It's nice to meet you. We are serving under your leadership. Hello, brothers. Are you aware that we have a special mission from our king? Yes. He speaks in our hearts. That's wonderful. Are you ready to go now? We are. After some hours, the warriors of Christ were still walking in the occupied territory to go to the holy mountain. After some hours, the warriors of Christ were still walking in the occupied territory to go to the holy mountain. Look, there is a mountain. Hey, hey. is it the holy mountain over there? I am not sure. S. The Holy Spirit interrupted and said to Gage. It is, don't be frightened of your enemy. Stand firm in the faith, be courageous, be strong. For I will be with you. Brothers, our Holy Spirit just told me it's the holy mountain. We should be courageous in advance. To it in Jesus' name. The warriors nearly arrived the ground of the mountain. Suddenly the enemy raided them. You, Arcus, don't try to shoot Christians, but they're riders.
All the arrows hit the riders. All the riders were hit and fell down. Many riders were killed. Others fled from the warriors. Suddenly Christian stopped attacking the warriors. They were confused and did not know what they were doing. Gabe, tell those Christians to go back to the king's camp, because they know where it is. Gabe sent all the released Christian soldiers back to the king. Very strange, the evil riders rode on our brothers. Yes, there are many Christian soldiers who were deceived, thinking they were listening to our king. They were being used by the evil riders to attack us, thinking we are the false Christians. Thank God we did not shoot and hit our brothers. They woke up and realized what happened to them. We were able to release from their riders. Praise the Lord. I knew that the battle about to begin was going to be viewed as the great Christian civil war in spiritual realms in the earth. Be careful with the many more Christians being used by the evil one than there were in the army of Barking. The warriors went and reached the holy mountain ground. Holy mountain ground. Gabe, you and your warriors must station yourselves at the bottom of this mountain to defend against the powerful demonic armies that will attack you. The warriors started to take up their station at the bottom of the holy mountain. A larger demonic army stopped and prepared to attack the warriors under Gabe and the bottom of the holy mountain. Brothers, be strong and courageous.
Do not be afraid or discouraged because of the accuser and the vast army with him, for there is a greater power with us than with them. Who is a greater power than those? Our King, he is with us. Jesus, victory for us. Brothers, hold up your shields against the flying arrows. Don't shoot back at them. As soon the enemy army realized their arrows did not affect the warriors, they stopped shooting. God wants some of us to climb this mountain. Others of you must stand firm and resist the enemy's attack. God is with you. Come and follow me. This reminds me of Jonathan. Son of Saul in 1 Samuel 14, 6 to 14. Amen to that. The demonic army attacked the warriors' defense. But the warriors stood firm and fought back the enemy. Their defense was not broken. Gabe, shoot arrows down at the enemy who tried to attack and break your men's defense.
the same time as the enemy's attack, the warrior's defense became weaker and weaker as many of their number died on the ground. Some of warriors on the ground started to climb and join those on the first levels. Some of those on second level climbed to the third level of the mountain. When they reached third level, the angels of God gave many more quivers full of bows to warriors on all of the levels. All of God's arrows were named Truth after that. Soon, the enemy at the ground, retreated from the defense of the warriors. They abandoned their prisoners and fled in all directions. Finally, it seemed as if the sky over the mountain was almost completely rid of the bats. The Christian prisoners were released and returned to the king's camp. All of the warriors were on standing at the top of the holy mountain. Our mission is accomplished. And the king himself then appeared right in their midst. They bowed and showed him great respect. Then he said to them, I must now share with you what I shared with your brothers after my resurrection, the message of my kingdom. The enemy's most powerful army has now been put to flight, but not destroyed. Now it is time for us to march forth with the gospel of my kingdom. The eagles have been released and will go with us. We will take arrows from every level, but remember that I am your sword and your captain. It is now time for the sword of the Lord to be unsheathed. Gabe, your mission is accomplished. You can go home. Your wife just called you. Gabe. Gabe. Gabe, sorry for interrupting your beauty sleep, but your dinner is ready. <laughs>